Hi guys, it's Sandy. I am bringing you probably the easiest DIY that you are ever going to make. It is a homemade foaming hand soap. Now you might be wondering, why in the world would I want to make my own hand soap? Well one, it's going to save you a bunch of money over time. Two, it is so easy to make, it comes together in like three minutes and three, because it's much safer to use for you and your family than a lot of the products on the market. So many products have tons of chemicals in them and what you put on your skin gets absorbed through your skin into your body. So it's really important to choose safe products. Now, you can buy a lot of safe products on the market and you can make some and this one only has three base ingredients it's so simple there is no reason not to make it i get a clean jar here this is another one that i usually have sitting on my sink either my bathroom sink or kitchen sink and i needed to make some more soap so i'm showing you how i do it now there are a ton of viruses going around right now and it's really important to have a good soap and really wash your hands with a good soap and water so let me show you i use a cast style soap the reason is it's organic, it's natural, it's plant-based, it has no dyes, it has um, no fragrances, and it's really good at removing pollutants from the skin. So cast oil soap, water, and a vegetable glycerin are the three basic ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna do is put one cup of distilled water into my measuring cup. Now, why distilled water? Because if you use tap water, it has bacteria in it, it has chlorine, it has fluoride. That's not the stuff you want in your soap. So always use either a distilled water or use a purified water. And um, if you don't buy the purified water, just make it. You could pour tap water into your cup, put it in the microwave, boil it, let it cool down, you have purified water. So I take my one cup of distilled water and I'm gonna pour it into my glass jar. And then the next thing is cast oil soap. Dr. Bonner's is by far my favorite. I've tried some other ones and I didn't like them as well for cast oil soap. So I just buy the Dr. Bonner's. You can buy them in whatever um, different sizes. You can buy it at Amazon, Walmart, Meyer, uh, CVS, like it's everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to use for this hand soap, this is a citrus, this is a lavender. So I'm just going to mix them just because I like that scent. You can use whatever you want. Um, I wouldn't use peppermint, I did buy that before and it actually makes your hands tingle. But any other scent you can use. So one fourth cup is what you need. And since I like the smell of both of these together, then I'm gonna mix them together. So I'm gonna do just a little mixture here, get my one fourth cup and pour it into my jar. Okay, so now the third main ingredient and this could be finished for your soap. Let me get those out of the way. It's a vegetable glycerin. Now this is really good because it's water soluble. That means it mixes with water and also it's a humectant. So it'll help hold moisture into your skin. When you wash your hands a lot, they start to dry out. So it's nice to have a humectant also. And of course I keep lotion at my sinks also. So after we wash our hands, you can put lotion on. So this is two tablespoons, not teaspoons, two tablespoons of a vegetable glycerin. I got this off of Amazon. I think this whole bottle was like $5 and it will last me a long time. So you can see what I mean by saving a lot of money over time because it only takes a few ingredients and um, you only use a little bit of it at a time. So I also make my own face wash using these same base ingredients. I make one for my kids, but for acne because they're at that age. I make one for myself that's mature because I need that extra aloe and oils in there. But these are the, uh, the ingredients that I use. I already have water all over the place, so let me wipe that up right here. Okay, so that's it, guys. You can stop right there and you have a great foaming soap. It works perfect. It is a clean version, so it works, yet you don't have all the chemicals in it. Just mix it up so that you are just stirring up the ingredients, or you could put the lid on and shake it. Um, but you will make a lot of soap. Now, did you notice I put the water in first before the soap? That way I didn't have tons of bubbles. Okay. So there is a perfect foaming soap that you can make at home. Now, to make it even a little better, I use essential oils. So uh, right now I said there are so many viruses going around that we need to just uh, use antibacterials. This is called Protect, it's just uh, one that I use. Um, here's one called Immune Strength, it's the same thing. I know that everybody has their own brand. I'm gonna use Protect right here, it's just a company that I like. And I'm going to stick in about uh, 
seven or eight drops on there. Now this is just perfect for getting um, flu season, coronavirus is going around. There's just so many different uh, viruses that are always going around. So this will just help take that off of your skin and keep your skin protected. Um, you could use lemon. It's good for cutting grease and it just smells good. Um, you could use tea tree oil. That's one an antibacterial. Um, if you wanted to make a soap that's just a little more soothing, you could put lavender in it. You can put whatever essential oils you want to in there. So now I've got an antibacterial soap right here. And if you want to make this just even a little bit better, and like I said, right here, you can stop. You've got a perfect soap. But if you want just a little bit more moisturizer, in the summertime, I usually don't put the extra moisturizer in. In the wintertime, I do. The moisturizers are just an oil. The thing about oil, though, is oil and water don't mix. This is how the water and the oil don't mix. They'll separate at the top to get them mixed up. Just shake, and then you can use your foaming soap. You can use avocado oil. You could use almond oil. You could use grapeseed oil. You can use whatever oil you want. It doesn't matter. But um, I just like the, the clearness of coconut oil. And let me tell you the difference also. I wanted to get it out just so you know. The coconut oil that I cook with is hard. Coconut oil that I use for these kind of recipes is liquid. Right here, it's called fractionated co coconut oil. I got it off of Amazon. Okay, so for the oil, just to put a little extra in, I'm going to add two tablespoons. You can add as much as you want. This is your recipe. Um, and then just mix it up. And now I have a soap with a little bit more moisturizers in there. So I put on my top, screw it down, and my soap is done. That's what I told you. It comes together so quickly so I can make as many soaps as I want. I can make them in different uh, scents. You could make these a great gift as far as with all the viruses going around. Give them to your friends. Um, the mason jar is what I already had, so I bought these tops. You can see I bought these off of Amazon. You just clip them to fit your jar, so that's a foaming uh, soap top. You could buy these off of Amazon, which is what I bought these. This is what I put our face soap in. It's just plastic, a plastic foaming one. Or you might have your own foaming soap container at home. Just wash it out and make your soap. So super easy. It is very inexpensive to make. No chemicals in it, and it works great. All right, that's all I have. Yep, nothing else that I wanted to tell you about. And until next time, I'm out.